Hello there YouTube, this is Kevin. I have uh, thought I'd do a little video today on my 2014 KLR 650 and the uh, four-way flashers I put on it. I've been looking a lot online, but I really haven't found any good videos that really show how to do it. A lot of people say, oh, here it is, you know. But it's not very helpful. I mean, I'm sure there are kits you can buy and, and all that stuff, but this is the cheap way, so I've maybe got maybe 20 bucks in it but it's a pretty simple setup already had a couple of parts but I'll give you a little demo here got just one little switch with the little switch as you can hear the flasher relays in there clicking click 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 and they uh... they work pretty good even when you turn the headlight on looks good but at the same time the way this is wired up you don't have to have it wired into the key so if you had it setting if you're on the side of the road or something or you know you don't have to have the electronics hot and won't run your battery down as quick but anyway it's pretty simple I'll show you a little schematic that I, a crude schematic that I that I drew out um, all right, so here are your four uh, tail lights, turn signals. I don't really know where that goes, but uh, anyway, start up here. This is either a hot wire from your battery, or I actually took a hot off of my headlight relay, which is which is fused before that. But if you do go straight from the battery, you'll probably want to put in a fuse, just in case something were to go go wrong. And then we have just a simple switch. This is the one in the dash. And this here is a uh, a flasher relay from AutoZone. It was, I think, $11.99. Just a mechanical two-prong relay. You got a positive side that you put your positive voltage into. And then a negative side, which is your output that flashes. Now, the first time I did this, I just ran the wires from this positive over to here without these diodes. And it worked. And I thought, okay, well, this is good. But just with the power on but the problem is is when you would turn the bike on and you would use the flashers on the bike it would if you turn this side on it would back feed power back through this line and it would make this side flash which is not good when you're trying to turn <laughs> so I went up to Radio Shack and I got two diodes uh, three amp diodes and I soldered them in line and heat shrank them in there and after you put those diodes in there and just make sure they're going the right way you want the voltage flowing out of here and only going this way only going that way and it works a lot better <laughs> and it works pretty good so uh, I'm pleased with it uh, pleased with the results and like I said after this is maybe 12 bucks and I think these were two dollars at Radio Shack I don't have the part number but they're just a 12 volt uh, 3 amp diode but other than that, right here, you got some of those little T, those jump T connectors. You just clamp it on the wire, and then it's got a spade connector that couples onto it. They have them in AutoZone. You can call them a T connector. And uh, other than that, it uh, works pretty good. But oddly enough, if you don't put those diodes in, when you turn on the key and you hit the, before I put the diodes in, I'll turn the key on and I'd hit the this over here. Or I'm sorry, I'd hit turn the flashes on, and it would make the headlight flash which really wasn't cool so not not with the key off but with it on but with the diodes in and it, it really works great turn it on flashes no no blinky headlight it kinda overrides it whenever you turn the signal on but still it's it's working fine I don't know, one of these days it's going to come in real handy, I'll tell you. But anyway, this is just a little around switch that I just drilled out the little paddle bit and put it in there. So, it's not a big deal. I don't know, if you got any questions, comment or something, let me know. Anyway, have a good day.